what is going on today guys welcome back to another episode in night of the dead now as you can see by our foundation up here we did have a wolf come after us right as i spawned into the game uh, i spawned in walked up here and he aggroed onto me pretty easy to kill the wolves are um, four shots with this basic bow put him down so nothing special there but I worked on a little bit of resource harvesting not much because our inventory is pretty much just packed full I mean we're gonna have to make storage chests as we go uh, get our get our um, benches made up as we go as well so we're gonna work on that before it becomes horde night now the first horde night's pretty easy um, Honestly, there's really not much to worry about as far as that goes. But anyway, we'll get to make our horde base here later on in the episode. But for now, we need to start working on um, getting like our equipment production table put back up. Uh, that's going to be one of the first things we want to do. And then from there, uh, we're going to want to start working on like this material production table which takes a couple boulders and then the crafting table which will take just a couple stones so there's really not much to making these um, but it is something we have to get done so anyway it wants us to make a small animal trap which to make a small animal trap we're gonna need some boulders so in order to get boulders you just smash these normal white gray looking rocks the darker black ones are your iron nodes so those you'll use to get pieces of iron iron ore and etc like that so as you can see we got a couple boulders we're gonna if we if we can eventually we want to put up four small animal traps and four mediums uh, just personal preference more than anything but that seems to work pretty well for me so I'm gonna just chunk up a couple of these quick and then we're gonna drop down our traps so again it's gonna be nothing special we're only gonna make two to start with and then we'll go from there but we're gonna need a couple boulders and stuff anyway so that being said animal traps come into here this is for your traps going to animal you got small animal traps medium sized traps and then the birdhouse from what I understood um, the last time we talked about it on stream the birdhouses were not currently working so with that in mind we will not be making those for a while um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's been fixed or not yet but as far as I know they're not working there goes a pig if you guys saw that running across the screen or I'm sorry not a pig a boar um, Later on, we will need his bones and his hide for doing some weapon upgrades and stuff like that. But for now, we're not going to worry about him. We don't have the inventory room anyway, so we can just put him on the back burner. But now that we got those done, it wants us to make a research table. Now, in order to make the research table, well, we could actually make it right now. Um because we actually have the stuff but normally what you have to do is you'll need to make the material production table and the crafting table up first in order to make that so with that being said we do need one more boulder and I actually put up three I only meant to put up two so apparently I lied um, I was trying to only put up two so I had that extra boulder but anyway it's not a big deal doesn't take long to get a boulder anyway but on stream we have found a lot of interesting stuff so far in the game we have found most of the POIs that hold uh, all the endgame items and we've actually found the building that uh, that has the endgame stuff in it so with that being said if anybody ever wants to come over and check out the stream and see exactly what we're doing over there feel free to stop by uh, and drop a follow I normally stream every day with the exception of Sundays at 10 a.m. Central Time. So if you guys ever want to come over and check it out, feel free to come by. You don't even have to talk and chat. Just swing on by and take a look at the stream if you wish to. So anyway, we're going to work on getting all the benches set up. Now, I kind of have a little bit of an order as to how I like to do these. I like to have my material production table next to that one. And then I'll put my crafting table here my cooking station there and then my research station will go over in that corner so it's a little bit of a process um, if you ever get stuck in this bug with the building menu just push the B button and then right click twice 
and then that gets you out of it. Uh, that seems to be a newer thing with one of the patch updates. So, the, la the latest patch update supposedly made it so you could break stuff down from a little further distance. Um, and that's about... That's about it as far as like the highlights of it goes. There wasn't much to it, so. Anyway, as I was mentioning, if you guys ever do want to come over and check out the stream, feel free to just pop on in. Like I said, you guys don't even have to talk. Just come on in, take a look, and see what we're doing. We're currently working on a on a hardcore playthrough, which entails only getting weapons from any of the lootable buildings in the game world. So we're not. We're not taking like any bullets or any sort of other crafting materials out of the loot. The only thing we're going into a house for is looking for, um, is just looking for weapons and that's it. So other than that, everything we get is going to be off the land. So like making research, it's all about gathering leaves, busting down the stuff alongside the roads, and killing zombies. And as far as food and stuff goes, it's all going to be about killing animals, harvesting like the fruits, the mushrooms, making farms. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. So we actually just started that this morning. So it's, it's pretty early into that playthrough, but I think it's going to, I think it's going to be interest, interesting one for sure. It is a bit more of a grind, uh, and it's designed to kind of slow slow down progress because right now, as far as I understand, or at least the last time we had talked about it on stream, the end game is not fully implemented, so you can't really even necessarily finish, uh, finish up the game at the moment. But anyway, we're just going to grab a couple more logs here. We're going to put down two more pieces of foundation. And we're going to get our research table crafted. And then we're going to head out. We're going to do just a little quick looting here. Um, I would like to find, if possible, I'd love to find the katana before Horde Night. And then try to get a little bit more materials. So just going to drop them two down like that. And actually, we have enough. We could place that one. Might as well place them all down. Then it's done. But this is... Oops, there goes that bug again. Um, but this is how the base looks on here. Um, eventually we can expand it out to go 5x5 five five if we wanted. That's something I've been messing around with a little bit on stream is making our main base 5x5 five five and seeing how I like that. But anyway, a research table goes over here just kind of how I guess I, I liked it to be set up. Um, just set it over here like this, and then that's, that's that crafted. Whoops, gotta do that again. Uh, and then you can start researching based on whatever notes you have. So a couple things that I have found to be very useful right away is getting junior, uh, junior engineer for the plastic, uh, because you need plastic to make your storage. Rubber rings are also also used quite a bit and then tape starts to get used when you do your second weapon upgrade or second upgrade in general now engineer is another great one to have you can make your trap machines from making more traps and you can also make gears now gears are very important because gears are used in several things including the medium sized animal trap so that is a very important one to me as well now another Thing that's very important is making sure you have inventory space when you're out looting. Now the first two levels of Porter are very important but another thing that's really important for me is being able to harvest materials like trees, the boulders, very quick. So I like to get into a lot of this stuff early on and just get it done with. Now the scavenger one does help out quite a bit but as far as quality of life upgrades go, I prefer to get um, other things done first. Now the combat skills are great. Getting Zombie Hunter is excellent as well. Blacksmith for getting your weapon upgrades and stuff done, fantastic. But for me personally, I like to kind of um, 
kind of get just some quality of life stuff done and out of the way with. So that's what we're going to take to start with. That'll knock out the majority of our research notes. Um, as you can see, where are they? There they are. We only have 34 left. But now what we got to do before we head out and loot is we got to make some more storage boxes. Now in order to make storage boxes, we're going to need some more nails and we're going to need planks. Now for us, it's pretty easy because we have uh, this bench opened up now. So we can make, let's see, we want 20 nails. So we need 19. That should give, whoops. We needed 18 actually, um, and then we need some planks. So we're just going to turn all those into it. Uh, it's not going to be enough to make all our storage boxes, but for now, getting what we can done will work out just fine for us. So we can just plop these down like so. Just kind of, I like to line them up, get them close together, and just like that. And as you can see, we don't have enough planks to make us make another one and clear out that bug again and then we can start dropping stuff off now i kind of have a a little bit of a specific order to how i like to have my stuff set up um, for instance this crate will have uh, feathers bones and skins in it this one is all about food so as we get other food items and other stuff for like the farm including like the pesticides and the fertilizer that'll all go in here as well now for this one, this becomes like my main crafting components. So everything like this goes in here. Now these will go in the next box, but stuff like this all goes in here. Gunpowder as well, rubber, plastic pieces, all that sort of stuff goes in there. Now this last one here is all in my more basic materials. So nails, trim stone, bricks, lumber, boulders, all that sort of stuff is what ends up in here. Drop them leaves in there as well. And that's going to be good enough for now. Uh, we got quite a bit of inventory room. So let's head out. We're going to do some quick looting. It's going to get dark relatively quick. But we do have a little bit of time to get just a little bit of looting done. So let's hope it doesn't get too dark too quick on us. Because it is going to start to, to get a bit dark here. Uh, now before we go any further, we need to make up few more arrows because we will be running into a bunch of zombies and we currently don't have a good melee weapon the knife is okay but as far as good melee weapons go I would prefer something a little bit better just personal preference sneak around get a shot on this one now headshots are of course going to do more damage but personally I will take whatever shot I can get uh, I'm not too picky as far as that goes and I apologize that it is going to get dark pretty quick I will put my flashlight on when we are inside looting when we are outside though the flashlight kind of hinders your ability to see the zombies though so it will be a little bit dark when we are outside but as far as like inside goes the light will be pretty good for us there just going to open both of them up and we're going to try to aggro these out one at a time. There we go. Tall lady next. And we got a double that time. Not a big deal. That one was a pretty good headshot. He'll take one more arrow and then, nope, maybe not. There we go. Two more. Must have missed one of them. There we go. Just pick up as we go. That's a jumper right there that we're shooting at now. She does a special attack where she will jump at you and smash the ground like that. And as you can see, she is a bit hardier than, than some of the other ones. Now, you can't really shoot past the shelves too well. There is quite a bit of clipping issue in the game. So just take note of that. Ooh, he did get a hold of me. Thought I had time to get the arrow off and get out of dodge. There we go. Now, yes, I could use the knife to kill him. I know a lot of people will tell me melee, melee, but 
I prefer using the bow. Good damage and arrows are pretty cheap and ex expendable. Oops. Take him outside. It's easier to fight him outside. Especially when they're slow like this. You can kind of just walk around them and kind of make them do whatever you want. So they're all in the back. We can start busting this down while we're waiting for them to kind of move around a little bit. Like I said, you can't sneak a shot past the shelf. As you can see, the arrows do clip in. So, whoop, that one hit its mark. There we go. Whoops. That one snuck by the shelf. There's a crowbar on the ground. Crowbar is not a very good, not a very good weapon, but there we go. Just finish her off with the knife there. Crowbar I don't like. Uh, personal preference more than anything. It's very slow, and I've just never, never liked it. It's something I leave behind. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff in the game that you can't salvage down. Like for instance, if you find extra clothing and stuff in the game. You can't ever salvage it down. You're just kind of... Oh, here's another zombie. Take him down the aisle. Splat. You hit them in the head like that and knock their heads off. Your arrows do roll around everywhere. Um, if you're inside, it is normally pretty easy to find. But if you are outside, good luck finding them. Um, a lot of times they'll just go <laughs> and they'll be gone. But then again, like I said, arrows are pretty expendable anyway. Just take some iron pieces and stuff to make them so it's not really, not really a big deal. I do tend to try to get my arrows back though, just out of habit. Um, spend less time crafting that way. But yeah, I'm not going to be taking, I'm not going to be taking that crowbar because like I said, you can't, you can't salvage them down anyway, and it's not a melee weapon that I like to use, personally. I like the katana the best. Second best would be the lightsaber. But I do prefer the katana. So anyway, this is the big loot, I guess I'll call it, as far as this building goes. Now, there's a variety of different stuff you can get in here, including crossbows, katanas, baseball bats... Uh, stuff like that but the main things that you get out of these are going to be your research notes and then you always get ammo ammo is has become a super plentiful item in this game now um, you never have to worry about ammo anymore ammo is very easy to find that's another reason I went ahead and started on that hardcore playthrough like I did uh, just so we are not picking up the ammo all we're going to be doing is crafting it from what we find so it's going to be it's going to be a lot harder to get the ammo but for myself personally i don't feel like ammo is too necessary but anyway i just wanted to loot a quick building see if we could find ourselves a melee weapon quick we didn't um so we got to start working on the horde base now i'm not gonna bore you guys with all the uh all the harvesting of like the trees and stuff but i'll be back to you guys once i get everything ready to lay down for the foundation and that way we can start building it we're just going to set the horde base up up over this direction um it's not going to be anything fancy to start out with the, for the first day but we'll expand on it as it goes so anyway i'm going to start out the loot get some chopping done and i'll be back to you guys um, actually, before we go, we do have a few research notes. We could grab let's see. Yeah, let's grab the next one into Porter here. Or actually, let's grab the next let's grab the next logging one. There we go.
So anyway, I'll be back to you guys in a little bit after I harvest up a bunch of stuff, and then we'll start putting together our horde base. All right, so I got a bunch of bunch of logs and stuff harvested up, uh, and we got the area right here pretty cleaned out as far as making our horde base goes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start right about here. Uh, it doesn't really matter how how close to our other base it is. We could put it way out there. We could put it pretty much right next to it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we're just going to start by laying down um, five pieces of foundation. Now, if you're wondering why it's five, uh, we'll get to that here and then I can show you um, why in just a few minutes. But we're just going to lay these down right in a line. Just like that. And that's going to be it for there. And then we need to put our stairs on back on this side. Going to just drop these down so they fit flush. All right. And the reason for five long is the first three are going to be occupied by the pendulum and eventually we will put floor spikes in there as well. Then this uh, fourth one is going to have a cutter, which is basically a giant blade trap. And then this one is going to have the compressor trap, which is basically a falling heavy obstacle with spikes on it to crush the zombies. So this is going to be our first, first line in our horde base. Now from here what we're going to do is we're going to go five blocks over, then five blocks deep. Then we're going to come six blocks over, and then we're going to bring it back and up, and we're going to build up to on top of our traps and put a trap door in between our compressor and our, uh, our pendulum. And the reason for that is putting the trap door in between there, when the if the zombies do make it all the way all the way around and up, they're going to fall back in right onto the cutter trap and have to go all the way around again. So it's something we've been working on on, on stream as well. And it works pretty good. We haven't got all of our traps in it yet. We've really only, I think we only have five, we only have our first uh, line of five in and it's we're on day seven now. So it's pretty effective. And it's pretty cheap. I think the last thing we did was just install a spike launcher uh, for the upcoming seven day horde. But other than that, it works pretty good. We started to see special zombies and it does a pretty decent job of taking care of them. So anyway, what we have to do now is we have to get all our resources we need for the pendulum trap. Now for the pendulum, uh, we need the trap machine, four planks, four lumber. We're gonna need one iron ingot, five nails and 10 rope. So it's not cheap, but it's not terrible either as far as like the price wise goes on it. So, whoops, I did that wrong. There we go. And then we need to get ourselves a couple more rope. Now in order to make rope, you take cloth pieces and then you'll turn them into cloth and then you take cloth and turn that into rope. So all your cloth pieces you can turn immediately into into cloth. Um, as far as I know, there is no other use that I can think of. I can't think of anything right now. Uh, we do need some more vines though. And we actually don't have any extra vines. Now vines are pretty easy to get. You can just give the bushes some smacks and you end up getting a few vines out of it. It's also how you get some leaves, some tree branches, uh, and it's normally how I go about getting seeds as well. So it doesn't take too long to get them, especially later on, um, as you get like some upgraded weaponry and stuff, it goes a lot quicker. So anyway, not gonna harvest a lot right now. That's something I'll do after Horde Night before, um, before the day gets light again. Um, just, that's probably gonna be my normal for my overnight stuff. It's just gonna be harvesting stuff up like this. So anyway, that's all we need to make the, pendul the pendulum trap now. So as you can see here, instead of being completely grayed out, it's a little bit lighter. And we got everything for that. So now we can go over and get that set up. And then we're gonna get some lighting done too. I wanna get some lighting done right away. The lighting is is actually pretty good. Um, the flashlight, I think, could definitely use some work, but the fire lighting on here is fantastic. 
So anyway, the next set in the recommended quest wants you to make a compressor. Uh, that's something we'll do later on. It's not something we really necessarily have to worry about right now. Um, we can kind of get to that stuff whenever we really want, to be honest. So it's not a big deal at the moment. But as you guys can see, we definitely need to work on upgrading our storage because we're kind of full as far as stuff goes there now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at upgrading these. Now to upgrade them, you're going to need four plate, four nails, one ingot, and one rubber ring. So it is slightly cost costly, I'll call it. I mean, it's not terrible. It could always be worse, but it does take a significant amount of resources. So just make sure when you guys are doing this, uh, you know how much it's gonna cost and make sure you have the materials for it. So gonna need eight nails and then we got enough to upgrade to. Now the first two that I'm gonna upgrade is my main food storage here because we'll, we'll get tons more of that. And then the other thing is going to be our crafting components box because that's another thing that we're going to absolutely have tons of stuff for. Not right at the moment because we just basically cook through all our crafting components, but later on, especially. Uh, and as far as the food goes, we'll get a lot of other stuff as far as food stuff, more, more meats from animals. Um, and when we start our farm and stuff, you get a lot of farm-specific items from there, too. But anyway, I'm just going to do some busy work while we wait for the Horde Knight to start. And I'll be back to you guys when that's ready to go, and we'll kick that off. We'll also get the stuff ready for lights so we can install them right before the Horde Knight gets, gets ready. So anyway, I'll catch you guys then in just a few minutes. Alright, so as you can see, it does say wave started now. Now, it does take a few minutes for them to actually start coming so while we're waiting there's several different kinds of fire lights you can use there's a ceiling light a wall light and then a ground light now the ground light is what we're going to use here for the te for temporary um until we get some walls up and stuff like that and get our base all situated we're just going to use one of these now these work absolutely fantastic as you guys can see our light is off and it actually puts out some pretty nice lighting so we're going to come over here and we're going to put a wall light on our pendulum so you can see how dark it is right now i'm going to take put the wall light up on the side here come on if it will there we go come on just like that and look at how bright it is over here now so now you can see a lot these lights actually work really nice in comparison to the flashlight i find these to be a lot better uh, as far as any sort of lighting goes so now like i said there's quite a bit of time while you're just sitting there waiting uh, for the zombies to come so while we're waiting we do have some animals in our small animal traps now you just come over and you skin them and then you have to reload the trap now you do need the seeds every time you reload a trap so our first zombies coming but you do need seeds every time you reload these traps so seeds come from like the bushes and stuff like that so it it does the odds of getting them are not that great. It definitely could use a buff, I think. Um, seed drop rate is a little bit low. At least I think so. Because um, I went through and I harvested a whole bunch of bushes off camera while we were waiting for the Horde Knight to start. And I only ended up with four seeds. Uh, which included what we already had. So drop rate was pretty bad but anyway you can get either rabbits or fox out of the small animal traps so these are going to be the two that you get the most often oops something on the ground there and then you just hit r to reload pop a seed in it and that's it so as far as the traps go like i mentioned rabbits and fox are the only two things you'll get all the small animal traps now when you go to medium animal traps you can get a lot more stuff you can get does the stags wild boars pigs wolves it's it's a lot bigger selection so as far as the small animals go personal preference 
is going to be rabbits. You're going to want more rabbits than you are fox, simply because rabbits are used to make processed leather later on. And you're going to need a lot of processed leather for stuff later. So you're going to eventually need a lot more rabbits than you are fox. Because the only thing you're going to use fox for is going to be... Um, it's going to be to upgrade your your uh, equipment to level two. That's it. Other than that, fox. You can't use fox skin to make processed leather, and the bones have no other use. But anyway, we can take one of our energy bars to recover some conditioning and health, and then we can also play around a little bit with the knife as our melee weapon. It's not great, but it's quick. And as you can see, you can't stun lock the zombies. But when they hit you, they stun lock you. That is my one major gripe with the game. When the zombies hit you, they stun lock you. But when you hit them, you don't stun lock them. Because it's like some of your hits don't even register. They do damage, but they don't make the zombies flinch. Now, you'll notice that a lot, uh, especially with... Um, like when you're fighting the special zombies that take tons of hits or any of the bigger zombies that have a special move like this jumper um, and the chargers you'll notice it a lot more often with them uh, and you'll also notice the flinch effect more often on them when they get to go into their special uh, their special attack like for instance if you have a charger coming at you and you hit him right as he's, um, what do I want to call it, like a growl, that, that bellow that they do before they charge at you. If you hit him then, you'll notice that you can actually knock him out of their special attack and make him just start walking at you again. So, as I had said, this first Horde Knight is nothing special. You get a few stragglers that come every so often uh, and for the main wave the main wave comes between one and two so you'll see in the top right hand side it says 1d which is one day in and 1h which is one hour so the main wave comes between hour one and hour two of every day and as each day progresses the wave will get harder and harder. it also come with more zombies. And eventually you'll notice it starts to um, split up into a couple smaller waves. Which is not really a big deal. But what is the big deal is the zombies that come in the waves. You'll start to see spiders. Um, the bigger specials that charge at you. And possibly even the butchers that throw stuff at you. I've, net, I've not seen a butcher yet on Horde Knight, but I would imagine if you can get the other ones, you should be able to get that special zombie as well. But like I said, I prefer the bow, even in close range combat. I'm pretty comfortable with flicking around on the zombies and just landing a quick body shot. You don't have to land perfect headshots to kill them all. All you have to do is take your time put your arrows on the mark and eventually they'll go down but this is the bigger wave as you guys can see the zombies are slowly filtering in and so far there's nine and that's pretty that's your wave that's your wave nothing special nothing too hard to deal with just nine zombies but if you're not comfortable with taking them on just come running over to your to your horde base and let the pendulum beat the crap out of them because honestly watching them get splattered by the pendulum is pretty satisfying you'll see splat and after you're done with this after you're done with this wave that's it that's your horde night once you kill off the big wave you're done now you reload this using tree branches as you can see by the count that's the number of swings um or hits I'm not sure if it swings or hits but you have to reload this otherwise when it gets to zero of 30 it stops so that's the horde knight um, first horde knight nothing special but again the further you get 
the harder it gets. The more zombies, the tougher the zombies that come, the more interesting. So you, we will be expanding on our horde base quite a bit. Um, a pendulum can work for the first couple nights. And to be honest, if you did it right, you can make a pendulum work for every night. Uh, it's just a matter of how you go about running the zombies around. So anyway, for now, that's going to do it for this video. Next video, we'll be working on a lot of looting. We're going to go out. We're going to finish looting the buildings back up that way and get as much, much research material, and as much good loot as we can. We might work on... Um, upgrading these two benches if we if we have all the materials for it we'll probably make up our cooking bench as well and get our fifth storage box down and get them upgraded and then we'll probably from there we'll have to see how much time we have before the horde night and it's all going to depend on what weapons we find as well while looting but we might even work on putting our compressor trap in over there too so we'll have to see as far as time goes what we got to do but anyway thank you guys so much for being here i really do apologize for the videos coming out kind of you know not so often anymore it's been a really <laughs> extremely busy time uh i honestly thought that I'd have more time by now, but it's looking like it's going to be a while yet. I'm st still going to try to get as many streams and videos out as possible in the meantime, but with the cooler weather coming in, I got a lot of stuff to get done before we get our first snow on the ground. So hopefully you guys understand about that and everything will settle down here. I'm hoping soon. I'm hoping within two weeks uh, everything settles down. we got a little bit of warmer weather coming after this quick cold spurt. So it's going to be a big push to get stuff done before winter sinks in here. Because we were already supposed to have our first snow. But it wasn't quite cold enough today for the rain to turn to snow. Um, but anyway... I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you very much for that. And again, if you guys do want to come come over to the Discord, come hop into the stream. The links are always in the description boxes of each and every video I post. So please feel free to hit that link. Just come over and say, hey, if you don't like what you see, you don't have to stay. If you don't want to chat, you don't have to chat either. So it's completely up to you guys. But anyway, again, thank you guys so much for being here. And we will catch you guys back for the next video.